about this property that I have moved in on is that it is on like 160 acres and there's a lot of redwood trees. My yard just inside of the fence has two apple trees that are going off right now and a fig tree that's also going off. And so that's really cool. I get to like go out there and like pick apples and, and there's some, there's some sort of um, unique variety. They taste really, really good. But I'm really excited to like explore this property more. I haven't gone on any hikes yet just because I've been busy. There is a pond that I can swim in and there's just like a lot of stuff to explore on. So I'm really excited to go check that out, see what's around here. Cause I've, I've never explored Santa Rosa before. I live kind of up in the hills past Montecito. So I'm not in like the direct downtown, which is nice, but I'm like a short 10 minute drive from town. So I get to have the nature and then I also get to have the city, which I'm really stoked about. Where's the food though? Water's like actually kind of warm. I just finished my first week of work at my new job at Land Paths, and I was actually working on the property I live on. It's called Rancho Mark West, and the reason it's named that is actually because of this creek right here. It is Mark West Creek? It's a really important creek for uh, salmon and steelhead and it leads out into the Russian River at some point. We were doing a lot of chainsaw stuff around the property so I actually got to see a little bit more than I thought I was going to during the work week and I want to hike around there at some point too but um, yeah it was really cool to get a little bit of an intro and just see, it's actually 120 acres, not 160, but just see the whole property. So that was that was awesome. This morning I just wanted to come down here because I didn't really do a whole lot of exploring other than the places that I was working at during the week and we don't really work near the riparian areas at all. So I wanted to come down here and check it out and it's a little bit low right now. The creek is a little bit low, but in the winter it's supposed to be filling up a lot more. Uh, something that's really beautiful about it though, you can kind of tell with some of the video I'm taking how burnt 
everything is. The redwoods are definitely charred, you know, 20 or 30 feet up the base of them. And there's some stuff off in the distance, some Douglas firs and everything that appear dead. But the riparian area has really bounced back since last year when the fire came in. And it's nice to see it's just like this little green strip surrounded by you know some burnt stuff but a lot of the burnt stuff around the creek is coming back too i think this morning i'm probably just gonna like read my book hang out and then try to edit some video because i am very very behind on it all and i have i've been kind of putting it off but um yeah i'm just gonna drink a bunch of coffee today and then do that guy that is across the street falling trees this morning has been doing it since I don't know I was like asleep but one of them woke me up and I swear to god it was like the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life it was terrifying since this whole area is like really really burnt with the exception of the spots I showed you so far there's been tons of logging going on and I mean and this guy just fell in some thickies this morning um, yeah, every time one of them falls, it like shocks me because it's so loud. It's the most beautiful sunset ever.